All right, it's time once again to see what Timu Claus has brought. Stick around, see what we got. All right, Timu Claus has come again. Uh, and well, this package did not come out so well. So let's see what we got here. And if it's even all still there, I hope so. box is destroyed. The package was open. Let's get the gimbal out. And that's it. Nothing else in the package. We got the little bubble. It looks like by some miracle it is actually all there. Okay, all right, so this is a pretty heavy duty gimbal. And looks like that's captive. Let's see. Oh, good, you can take it out. But I don't know how, how good that's going to be because I'm hoping to be able to mount an actual camera to this to take the place of the cell phone that I'm using now. Uh, I think I have enough adjustment in this to be useful. Let's see. And what I'm gonna wind up doing is, and I already have like off to the side, you can't see it, but there's a TV mount mounted to the, the shelf right there. And it's gonna kinda come around. And I believe I'm going to mount this like this and the camera will of course mount like right here uh, and that's not inches that's got to be centimeters uh to move this up and down and i mean it does actually come off um but so the camera sitting here lens pointing this way i would be able to rotate this this way with the lens pointing down like that is and could even rotate it this way um, and I've got adjustment up and down kind of like a, a blog setup type thing so I think it's really gonna work pretty pretty good I had at one time thought I needed was gonna be need to mount something on this or go machine something to move it up and down on a pipe, but I don't think I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, so, I don't know. I think this is gonna be pretty good, uh, but I'll kinda talk more about the setup once it is in place. And, and I don't even know if I'm gonna leave all this commentary in here. Uh, mainly, I just wanted to go over this a bit to, to see if anything was missing. But I was afraid I, it probably was the way that was all torn up and this is an adapter that would go from quarter 20 which is your standard uh, threading on the bottom end of cameras and just different different things to three eighths okay so that's the uh, gimbal so let's see what we got next okay I think I know what this is I think it's uh, soldering iron tips, but we will find out. I remember seeing a little package like that right there. I don't know if you can see it, but this light's flickering over here. Yeah, these were free deals on some of the games, uh, or, or it might not have been one of the games, but something. This, this, these were free. Uh, some more that fits the. I think it was the last soldering iron that I had reviewed. 
Uh, and actually, I think it's the Southern Iron that's in the giveaway. So, extra tips. That's cool. Okay, so this is cool, I think. You got extra power cables, straight 90 degrees. And you have a stretchy cord power cable and a dummy battery. And so this I think would work with all of the Alpha Series uh, cameras that Sony has out. So this would go in the battery compartment and then this would plug into these ports. I, I don't know which is the power up. Oh, it might be eight volts, I'm not sure. But it plug into here and of course, then you power this and you have power to your camera. And you've also got auxiliary power cables for different voltages. You got 15 volts, 12 volts, eight volts, and five volts as well as USB connections at five volts and uh, an on off switch to be able to turn the whole setup on and off. And then there's a larger battery that you can buy and you know, connect into here. Uh, and I think there may even be adapters that you can put in to put higher capacity style batteries on like adapter plates or stuff. I have to look into it more to find out more about it, but my, my thought is is to just be able to power one of the Sony cameras in stationary, not with batteries, but that I just want to be able to have a setup and have the camera there, and then all I have to do is just come in and flip a switch and we're on, camera's powered up, and it's powered through this and no battery, which will help it to run cooler um, so that it doesn't tend to overheat, which the Sony A alpha series at least the 6000 it's bad on batteries and prone to overheating i think the all of them are prone to get hot um but some more than others so anyway this so there'll be kind of a little review on this right here to to find out more about it and also <clears throat> with this right here i would assume this right here is a supply voltage connector where which there's no cord here for it but that you could put in here and just plug it into the wall but i've got to look in you know more into it and find out about that to see if that's the case which would be perfect actually uh i could literally just supply it with my my uh rigol power supply up there <clears throat> kind of cheesy but uh hey if it works don't fix it uh so anyway all right so that's all I've got right now. Uh, I've got some other stuff coming up uh, that we're going to be looking at and getting into. Uh, so, guys, uh, I would like to ask you, if you would, uh, consider liking and subscribe. Um, I appreciate you sticking around this time, and I appreciate you spending your precious time with me. Uh, thanks, and God bless.